good morning afternoon or evening welcome back to the channel and if it is your first time here my name is Gigo and today we are around the Lashibi area we are here to do the wooden work for the decking of one of our madam here on the channel she I think she has been a subscriber and she has her own team building his projects for her but she needed help with the carpentry work when it comes to decking so Ifo is on this project coming to do the decking with his team here so as you can see we are gathering it's, a, it's going to be a mixture of old wood and also new wood wood in construction is very expensive so if you have a team that can help you to sort out you know wood old wood you know so that you can buy later as you see you know she just bought few woods to support and then you get a job done so today the focus is going to be on uh, Ifo doing his thing and Ifo is one of the carpenters that has been on my personal project for some time now and i've shared so much video of him and i know when it comes to using old woods he's very good in his gauging and his uh, lining is sharp. He's very good with that. Like I said earlier in my previous videos during the boom project, Ifo was doing furniture, you know, bed, kitchen cabinets, and those kind of finished goods. And he's very good in finishing. So if he's on your project, when it comes to this kind of work, it's easy job for Ifo to do. So you can see the environment is a, a world, I won't say very developed, but it's a very nice area. You know, this is one beautiful thing when you buy land and you just wait. You know, when you hear someone is selling land in a place and you just have the money, you just buy it. Just wait for the next 10 years or next 5 years, see how the place develops and when everybody has built up something you can see most of the houses there are not finished yet so it is a developing area and that's one beautiful thing you know you just come in or you just sell it for a higher price so if you need uh, land you can contact mr Quete. i'll put his number here you contact mr Quete. you need a land around uh, chupoli dawa pram pram ningo area Mr. Quete is the guy to call and also if you need materials for your developing to start building, maybe you want to start with the fence wall foundation around that area, Tema, Ningo, Afienya, Dorinya, Pram Pram, Chopoli. In that area, if you need blocks, if you need building materials, Mr. Quete is the guy that you should contact, trust me. And if you also need secondhand wood for your decking, you know, the wawa board and the plywood and that kind of stuff, contact Mr. Quete, he will sort you out. And before we get back to today's video, I also like to use this opportunity to thank the madam, you know, for giving Efo the opportunity to work on her projects, to show his talent. And I believe he did a massive work. He did a great job here. I think at the end of the video, we'll see the end result of Efo and I'm, and I'm really proud of what he was able to put up here at the end so if, if you have your project and you need any artisans it could be anybody at all from my team that is why it's called a production group you can always choose one person or any help you need you can have your own mason your own contractor your own plumber your own steel bender you but anything that you are lacking during your construction work you can always take someone from our team it is allowed and they will go and check it out when they go to your site and they see a problem then they will address you and then we can if you agree we can ask our contractor to come and also check it out and explain to you what is the problem before it gets too late we are not here to take anybody's job we don't really do that I think most people from the channel can also te testify that we don't take people's job because most people have called us to take over their work and we didn't do it because we do ask one or two questions 
and we come up with you know we don't want to i don't want to put everything out here but there are there are ways that we always try to make peace you know and that's more important with construction so if you need any artisans that i've put here on the channel you can always tap in and get any of our artisans to work with you know you don't necessarily have to use the whole team you don't necessarily have to use us before you can get you know our artisans they are available to help anybody who wants to work with them I can see that Efo is moving very fast with his work he has already done the board and also the 2x2s and the 2x4s are installed the bamboos are underneath and already the plywood is on top yes well now we do the the 2x4 finish we do the 2x4 finish so now we start knocking the our plywoods and so if really god permits by next next two days we'll finish the plowed work then the steam maker will come and continue his work so this is how the project is okay this is the high ranking of a fool This is where we reached so far. So now we came to the frontage of the house. So now we are doing the, uh, the front porch with the arc, the drop down beam arc. So that is what we are doing now. So this is the frontage of the house. As you can see, we are marking from the pillar to a pillar so that we can get the middle of the uh, the arc so this is where we we reach so by by the close of the day we will we'll join the middle then where my my senior man stand we we'll join them together so that we get the front arc you no know, drop beam so that was a four for you if you need a very good carpenter for your decking a four is the guy he's also good when it comes to roofing we also have another carpenter here on the channel called ataje i have shared most of his projects he did the church projects all the carpentry work with the church project ataje was the guy that did that work he's also very good with uh, roofing and also when it comes to container works container cladding and pergolas cabanas those, those kind of uh, asian uh, uh, at artifacts ataje is very good with that so if you need anything with construction with wood and stuff i have the right people for you so that's efos nama on your screen you can whatsapp or call him if you're in ghana he will go to your site, do estimate for you. You deal with him directly. You know, he knows what he's doing. He knows his job. And you can see it for yourself, you know, on the screen. So, ASEFO is halfway done installing the plywoods. I want us to pay attention to something. So, whilst I was watching this video, my focus was more around, about the environment. I was looking at the houses being built around this place and if you know the Lashibi area you know it's I think it's just 15 minutes to the airport or something by car if you're if you're on the motorway it's not that far to the airport actually so this is what I noticed I noticed that most of the houses there are kind of uncompleted I mean most of it is not painted and it's still under construction so the question I was asking myself was that I think the last five years to ten years there was nothing in this area trust me there was only maybe fence wall and people were starting to come in, into that area but looking at you know what people have put in up i think within 10 years how much do you think the land will cost now and the land cost 10 years ago so that's something you know sometimes when you're buying a land you don't really see anything around the place 
you know you only see fence walls and stuff but those are the land you should be focused on you know a place where it's not developed you don't really see much houses you only see fence walls like people are put put up their fence walls you see a lot of fence walls those are the investment land there it's not necessary you have to buy and build on it but you just have to buy and just wait just buy put up your fence wall and just wait for the next 10 years five years and see how much money you can make you know when the demand is high that's where you cash out so yeah this is the progress of uh fo i think at this point he was done with the installing of the plywood and he's trying to show us the curve at the front view and i think they've already started putting the plastic also on top of the plywood and already installation i could see that our madame is not really joking our madame is not really joking at all she's not wasting any time <laughs> but to be frank like um if you look at the people who are actually building in ghana i think they are the females i think the females our madams our our mothers and our young ladies are the ones building a lot in ghana i think they are more than the male who are building in ghana because most of the contracts that we get and looking at you know what is happening in the construction field i think the females are building much like this is what i have noticed i don't know from your side so you can just comment down below let me know like looking at construction in ghana which people are building are they the, the male or the female but but to me i think the females are the one building and i think it's also because they really come up with a simple structure you know when they have their land they don't really think too much about design they only want bigger rooms and big space the kitchen and that kind of stuff so i think they are easy to build and they really go really fast with their construction than the men that we really want you know so much we really think more about the outside how the house should look outside but they are more about what should how should the house look from the inside so let me know down down below which people do you think are building the most in Africa or in or in Ghana in general. So talking about designs, I also like to use this opportunity to share one or two tips, you know, with you viewers when it comes to construction, you know, from my experience here in Europe. And for you to understand what I'm about to say, I would like you to go around your house or maybe after you've watched this video go around your house if you live in europe or in america and start knocking on the walls and you notice that the outside of the walls like the outside walls which leads to the outside of the house is most of it is concrete and in this case we are using blocks and then the inner walls like inside of the house the walls are all made of hardwood most of them are plywoods which are insulated so you have two plywoods with a with a two by with a four by fours in between and then you they close it and they insulate it so i think we can start implementing this kind of stuff in our houses to prevent the buying of too much blocks so you only buy blocks for the outside of the house and maybe from one room to the next room if there are two rooms at each other then it's necessary that you use blocks to do the demarcation but then the rest of the house inside of the house you can use the wood for your demarcation and one thing you can also use is the wood that you buy for your decking because it also consists of the two by twos it consists of the two by fours and also the plywood so if you really take good care of your plywood that's why you need a good carpenter if you keep good care of your plywood you apply the black oil and you use the plastic like what you see on your screen now you preserve those wood and you can use those wood to do those demarcations so one you don't have to throw the wood away two you don't you have to you reuse the woods you know and one thing which can help which uh, one advantage which i want to say that is that when you want to do any renovation in the house you don't have to break down any any blocks to make a mess you only have to take the screws out 
and maybe use those same wood if you want more space you just add more wood if you want to keep it shorter you just have to cut it and that's how it's been done in europe like you see you know a company uh, re renovating a whole flat but you don't see them breaking down the whole building they only go in there and they break down the inner walls because it's most of it is not blocks like as we we do 100 percent blocks our construction is 100 percent blocks but what i'm trying to say that some some of the walls like from the kitchen to the living room you know those things and also to the guest room to to the guest washroom you don't really need blocks there you can just use simple wood to demarcate then you have to go for the hardwood so if you so if we think about it, these things these are some of the ways we can really cut down cost when it comes to construction and if you have a good carpenter like Efo who is you know does those kind of things the kitchen cabinet the wardrobe the bed i think he can give a good advice if it is possible to reuse this word these woods so he protects them doesn't cut them anyhow and this is how you save money you know this is how and the beauty of it, of it is that you can always change it without making any mess so this is my thought this is what uh, i was thinking about like i said you can go through your house start knocking all the walls there and you hear different sounds you hear different sounds so this is something i just noticed and i just want to share with you guys if you saw a video i uploaded i think earlier this year with the with the shipping containers building everything you see in there is wood it's only the frame which is iron the frame is iron the rest everything you see there is wood it's wood that we use to do the demarcation of everything one way you can also think about this is having a shipping container house you know you have the frame and all the inner walls and inner demarcations are all wood that's all i'm trying to say and i think efo is trying to show us his staircase you know design so let's get back into today's video and pay attention to efo a little bit so this is the staircase that he did he's working on it it's beautifully done <laughs> Step a little bit, ah. Eh, I'm not you. Work and happiness. Iba, make any man come birthday. DJ birthday. Prosper. Christian. Me any hour. Me only can say I go birthday. So this brings us to the end of today's episode. Thanks for staying with me till this far. I really do appreciate your time spent here on the channel. Kindly please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thanks to each and everyone sharing my videos to a wider audience. And I'll see you in my next episode. Let's do it.